Hello everybody, uh, welcome to this video. Um, I'm doing a video on the very new uh, Amiga Seamaster Planet Ocean 600 meter master chronometer. Um, it was released in March this year at Baselworld or Bezelworld, which, which, however you pronounce it. Um, and I think it went on general release or released to some of the premium approved dealers in July of this year. Um, it's now November. I placed the order for this at the end of August and uh, it's taken 12 or 13 weeks to arrive and the reason for that is because I went to or through a grey market dealer. Now lots of people will be concerned about going to a grey market dealer. I know there's people out there that um, frown upon it for one reason or another. Some think that the grey dealers aren't necessarily providing uh, either genuine products or there may be an opinion that uh, the products aren't brand new, they've been worn, or they're returned, uh, or there's something not quite right about them. Um, the company I used was Swiss Watches Direct, and uh, I can confirm that my experience has been very, very good. Here are the details. I did wait a long time for the watch, as I said, around 19 weeks, but apart from the wait, uh, the, the watch is genuine. It comes with a VAT receipt, so I know it's brand new, unworn, with all the tags. Um, and the quality is is 100%. There's nothing wrong. I can't fault it whatsoever. The only downside is, a, is a, as I said, the weight. And I saved around a £1,000. And this was before uh, Brexit in the UK. Uh, the value of the pound has slumped since then, uh, or at least a little bit. Um, now I think the price has gone up about two or three hundred pounds. But if you look at the the Rolex Submariner, for example, they've just uh, done a price increase of around ten percent. Now the Submariner's gone up around five hundred pounds in the last few weeks. So I've saved quite a lot of money on this watch. Um, before I op open it, I just wanted to look at the the box. This is probably my favourite box that the uh, Omega Seamaster comes in. You can get obviously the red ones. I don't know whether they still do them. Whether it's still current or whether it just comes with some specific models but uh, although this box is very big it uh, it looks great it looks very very posh it's got I think felt on the underside um, it's got a push button here um, I've only had this watch a day uh, I can probably claim bragging rights on this video I think I'm probably the first person on YouTube to post a video on this particular uh, model. I know like uh, I was a few weeks ago I was quite keen to see some videos on this watch. Uh, I couldn't find any out. The only one I could find was by I think Ariel Adams um, from a blog to watch and he did uh, a blog on this gosh, some months ago probably in March April time but the video quality wasn't particularly good and he was looking at lots of other watches. I can provide the link below. Um, so here we go without further ado I'll open the box nice and slow here is the watch. You can't see it very clearly here. Let me just take it out. So I can provide the serial number or the model number for this watch. I'll just uh, let you have a, a good look. It has the Kalchuk bezel, uh, the quarter inch, sorry, the quarter uh, of the dial is Kalchuk, I think is the way you pronounce it. This, I think, is a posh word for rubber. Um, it's highly polished. You can't really feel the fact that it's rubber there. It's embedded within the rest of the bezel which is ceramic. This is the chronograph version with the rubber strap with orange stitching which I really really like. The, I'm just going to turn it on its side here because lots of people will know that this watch is huge in size. It's 45.5 millimeters in diameter and it's around about 18 mil um, deep if that's the right way to put it so it does sit very high on your wrist imagine that being on your wrist you can see it sits quite high um, I have got very small wrists uh, mine are around six, uh, seven, 7 inches I think so I am quite skinny on the wrist um, but to be honest I don't really care. There's going to be lots of people that that say this watch is too big, it's too thick, but this has always been my Grail watch, and it's it's one that I'd wanted for some time. Uh, whether it was the old model or the new model, the size 
hasn't really changed much. They've changed the bezel, as I've said. Um, certain aspects of the dial have changed, I think. The rubber strap, this particular type, is a new addition. I prefer it. This watch is really, really heavy, even though it has got the rubber strap. Um, dread to think what the, the stainless, stainless steel one would look like. This is the uh, the inside, it's got the um, inspection case there, I think you call it that, exhibition case even. I've kept the tags on it, I've only had it a day, look, you still see all the tags are on there. Um, it's got the new 9900 movement on there. It's got the new case back, a different design around here. The old design I think had uh, holes at various points within uh, the case back there. This is slightly different, like a tooth edge or serrated end. Um, I'm not massively technical. This is my first expensive purchase. Um, I can't give you loads of technicalities. You'd have to go to Omega directly for that. I'll just give you a 360 degree view of the strap. I will do the mandatory uh, wrist um, shot me wearing the watch so I'll put it on show you what it looks like and let you decide for yourselves what you think all comments are welcome whether good or bad I'm not precious I don't really care I'll try and twist my arm as much as I can so that's the watch on the wrist show you, try and show you my whole arm show you how skinny I am so that's the rest of my arm and that's the watch on I've got, I think, two, two holes left. I'm going to keep this video as short as possible. I'll let you look at the side pro for profile as well to see how high it sits on the wrist. As you can see, it's quite a big watch. I'll start the timer as well. You see that ticking around quite nicely there. You can see the date, it's the 30th of November. Uh, when you stop it, reset, rotate the bezel, nice click, nice good solid feel to it. The video may not do this justice, it really is a beautiful watch, really shiny, it's going to stand out, it's going to get lots of attention, good or bad, it doesn't really bother me, um, I love the watch. And that's all there is to say. Any comments, any questions, welcome, as I said. Any questions at all, I'll try and get back to you um, with as many as I can. Um, I think that's all I wanted to cover. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.